After starting Pro-E, you will see the screen is shown here. The window on the left is known as the Navigator window, while the larger window in the center is an integrated web browser window. For now, we'll minimize both of these windows by clicking on the thin textured buttons on the vertical sashes. Along the top of the screen, you will see the words File, Edit, View, and so on. These are referred to as pull-down menus because if you move the cursor over any of these words, a pull-down menu of additional commands appear. Below these pull-down menu items and along the right edge of the window are a series of shortcut buttons. As you move the cursor over any of these buttons, a pop-up window displays the name of the button. The small rectangular region is called the command or message window. Brief descriptions of the executed commands will be displayed here. In addition, prompts that require input are displayed in this area, so you will want to keep an eye on this area of the screen. Different buttons on the mouse control various viewing functions in the program. These are listed in Table 1-1 of the Pro Engineer tutorial text. As you will see, Pro-E expects that a three-button mouse is being used. One of the most heavily used mouse functions allows you to spin the model. This is done by holding down the middle mouse button while moving the mouse. You can also pan and zoom by simultaneously holding down the Shift or Control key and the middle mouse button while moving the mouse. Extensive online help is available by selecting the Help pull-down